Okay, guys, we are back with a new Let's Play. It is... Okay, guys, we are back with a new Let's Play. Hold on one second, I forgot to mute this. All right, cool, cool. Sorry about that. We are back with a new series. It is... Oh, here, hold on back. So we're, we have a new series. Divinity 2 Original... Oh, it's Divinity Original Sin 2. So it is a RPG. As you guys know, I love Western RPGs. This is not Japanese. It is turn-based, but it is a tactical kind of RPG. So I'm doing this blind. I have no idea what to do. Ooh, wow, interesting. It doesn't really... What is it doing? All right, select create. Oh, I had to create a profile. Okay. Interesting. So I could actually play this with... What the hell? I can't type. Oh, there it is. It brought up a uh, stupid mini. So I'm doing this blind. First time I'm playing this. I'm doing it with a keyboard mess. I guess I could do it with a controller, I guess. Welcome back. Give number three is automatically downloaded and applied to your game. We hope you enjoy this fine collection of modifications inspired by our community favorites. Oh, interesting. Beauty salon. Be who you want to be. This is a gift that widens the selection of face types and hairstyles for every race and gender in the game. This new content is applied automatically and available immediately. Find your new look in the character creation or through the mirror, the magic mirror in the game. Oh, what is this? Song of Nature. Oh, well, I'm not going to sing it out. Oh, what do we have here? A gift, a gift, this gift bag is full of incredible treasures up to revamp the way you experience Divinity Original Sin 2. Dig deep. What? You find can, very, uh, can change the very rules of the game and add new features, powers, and possibilities. Use the To use these, a new entry was added to the in-game menu. From there, access, okay, modifications menu. There you can find this gives content. Okay, crafter, kit, endless runner, and the uh, uh, Fort Joy magic armor, eight action points and herbs. So I'm gonna go there, okay. Magic, this is a brand new gift bag has arrived. And take a big inside and find the selection of popular mods chosen by the community. These are specially prepared gifts. You can introduce new combat challenges, enhance the variety of your summoned companions, or greatly improve the gear before uh, neatly sort being sorted in your inventory. Okay. To use these, a new entry has been added into the game menu. Go to okay, okay. So we have pet power, nine lives, combat rambleizer. Here's a uh, source improved organization okay cool all right i guess that's it sorceress sindries i don't know what sindries i don't know what that means all right so story mode so we have several things here i think he said go options all right so let's go here graphics okay that's full screen okay display default oh quality's ultra by default Music seems pretty good. Let me know. Hey, Pie Dog, what's up? I'm just going through. Oh, poke. perfect. I'm going through the menu, just making sure everything's good. Is the sound okay, dude? Um, I'm going to do keyboard and mouse, unless you feel that the controller's better. Well, I hope that have a tutorial to go through all this. Do you think the mouse is good? Keyboard, or do you play with a... All right, so we're going to go back. Game Master, not sure what that is. Story, we're going to do that. Quit. So, it said to go to options, was it? Oh, no, mods. Oh, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, cool, cool. I'm going to. So, it's saying set in the back. Go to... Um, Options, I thought, right? I don't see anything about that. So we're, let's go here. And I appreciate the tutorial, guy. I like this login screen so far, guys. And this is also... I'm playing on the PC, by the way. This game is also on consoles. I know it's on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure about the other ones, but I'm pretty sure it is. So we got this also. Let's see where it says here. 
continue to enter, go to the game menu from there. Oh, okay, so. Game menu, I don't see it, but we're going to go. Ooh, I wonder what arena is to face a, a people, I bet. So let's look at the menu, guys. So, story, we don't have anything. Game master, not sure what that is. Arena options, mods, profiles, credits, quit game. So let's go to game master. What is this? Play campaign. Oh, so these are just campaigns, it looks like, right? Prepare campaign. Oh, you can make your own, I guess. Play. Oh, okay, okay. Create new campaign. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's asking. Oh, okay. So you could go on server and search for them. Create, direct, connect, connect. Don't see anything here. Join. Oh, okay. All right, we weren't, we're not going to mess with that. Arena, I'm assuming, is Hot Seat Arena. Or like for the king. Ah, nice. Okay, Hot Seat Arena. I'm assuming, let's click that. Oh, shoot, I hope. I'm not ready to go here. I'm just messing around. So we're going to learn together how to play this game, guys. I'm probably going to suck at first, but we'll hopefully get good. Ah, Arena is kind of like, uh, that kind of cool gets my, lo my local player. Oh, so I could do, oh, Arena is pretty just you have friends to play with. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I figured this is like an Arena thing where we battle out each team does well. Okay, so that's perfect. We don't have to worry about that. Maybe Pi Dog and I could do that later. Um... All right, so let's go ahead and go to story. We're going to do single player. Classic mode, tactical. I don't know what. Explorer mode, classic mode, tactician mode, and story mode. Which one? Is that like difficulty story uh, levels, I'm assuming? I'm not sure which one to choose, but. Oh, it's cool, but maybe minor spoils. Okay, we won't do that now. And I want to make sure I get those mods, too. Axis, I don't see that. So I'm assuming story mode's the easiest, right? Explorer mode is it's simple. Classics in between tacticians are more advanced. Story's the easiest. He's, what do you think? I should try story just to learn? Yeah, we'll do story. Then explore. Which one do you recommend, PyDog? Just to start out, I'm going to do story. And yeah, so this is the hard mode. Interesting that they put story mode, which is the easiest, down at the bottom. We're definitely not going to do tactician. We're definitely probably not going to do cla classic. Might be kind of funny. But we could do story mode, because I really want to enjoy the story. And we could maybe do other runs to... Um, do other stuff. Oh, hey, PyDog, did you see on Discord? Did it do a link? I, up to you. It's a hard game even on Story Mode. Okay, we'll definitely do Story Mode. We're going to do Begin. So it's about time I start playing some different type of games for the channel. They'll have a huge backlog, and this is one of them. I've had this game for probably over a year, I think. Or maybe I got it this earlier this year. I'm not sure if it was this year or last year, but it's been a while. All right, so we got some stuff to do. Character creation, okay. You select a, a origin character and, or create a custom. Okay, understood. So we could create uh, the Red Prince. You are infamous, the brilliant warrior general ex, ex, uh, excelled from his empire for, oh, he was co uh, converting with uh, demons. Interesting, fallen from grace, he refused to give up. Throne would be yours again. So his talent, he has dragon blaze. A breath, <coughs> excuse me, uh, breathe uh, fires, uh, flames in a cone, dealing eight to 10 fire damage and leaving fire surface behind, okay. A set uh, 
set burning for two turns. Resistant, resisted by magic armor. Oh, okay, so it has resistance. Like it's very D and D like. What is this? Dynamic stare. Drain 18 to 19 magic armor from a target. Oh, interesting. I like how they have these different types. So this is more uh, um, deep type RPGs. I kind of like. Run target to regain that much yourself. It's kind of like a heal. Restore magic armor equal to damage dealt. 13 range, seven range. Okay. Pre a build preset. All right. So he has battle horns. Bring this with horns sprout from your forehead, making you making you see red. You can you can rush at your enemies, and gore them, increasing retribution ability by one for duration. Okay. Ooh, incompatible with Medusa's head. So I'm assuming Medusa's head something similar. I set bull horns for four turns. Polymorph. I did a story my attention to friends. Character creation is important. Oh, character creation is important. Okay, Kvita, so let's make sure we do this right. All right, okay, turn the target character into a chicken oh, that's pretty cool for two turns of my physical armor interesting range to me why you have to be really close and that's chicken technical lash technical oh anyway lash out your opponent dealing 18 physical damage okay there is for one turns damage based on your level and receives bonus from strength resisted by physical armor eight range okay that's kind of cool so he seems like a melee character really cool looking by the way Let's listen to the story, origin story. Oh, oh, we could. Oh, I don't know if I like the helm. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. Famed, of course, for my unique red skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the House of War, I, the Red Prince, was raised within the vast palaces of the fabled Forbidden City. I was destined to become the next Emperor. But my ambitions suffered a bit of a setback when I fell from grace for cavorting with demons. Now, I'm exiled and hunted by assassins. But I assure you, I remain undaunted and as determined as ever to claim my rightful throne. Very cool. I like the voice acting already. Hmm, okay. We're going to go to... Ooh, what is this? Here, origin characters have a rich personal back. Personal back. Ooh, oh wait, it went away real quick. Damn, I can read it. All right, so she is uh, background. She is a slave no longer. You still bear the living scar your master used to dominate you. He turned you into an assassin, made you hunt your own kin. Now you hunt him. So her, a uh, flesh sacrifice, gain one action point immediately and ten percent damage. Boost for two turns, and it costs one negative one constitution. So it's like a life tap, right? Kind of, except for life tap. Yeah, it is kind of like that. Uh, any action point over maximum loss. Okay. Break the shackles. Remove the following negative statuses on yourself. Silence. So crippled, chilled, shocked, plague, suffocating, diseased, infectious disease. Whoa, okay, there's two. And shackle of pain. All right. Talents Corpse Eater, of course, lets you eat body parts. To, oh, the access the memory of the dead. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Ancestral Knowledge. Ancestral Knowledge gives you plus one to Lore Master. She has very much the same. And let's listen to her story. We're... Hey, Jason, how are you? Um, Well, technically, uh, we're kind of testing out how Twitch does. Because when we first started streaming... Uh, we did Twitch, and we had uh, Dragon Quest only for um, YouTube. And then we said, okay, let's we get, we're starting to get much better turns out on YouTube. So say, hey, let's just kind of focus on that. But we actually, believe it or not, we actually used to do both all the time. But we kind of concentrated on, on Twitch. But unfortunately, Twitch, uh, or not unfortunately, but we just... Uh, 
haven't done any testing since. Since Discord announces this, we figure we give it a chance. But if you guys honestly prefer, let us know, and we will focus only on um, on uh, YouTube if you guys prefer that. You can also change preset builds. Okay, cool, cool. So we're gonna listen to the story. It's gonna be a slow episode, this guys. I used to be a slave. Kept under the thumb of the master. The bastard that made me hunt down my own kin. How did he do that, you ask? With the living scar you see on my cheek, this horror that takes no more than a song sung by Master Dearest to control my very thoughts. But now the tables have turned. I broke my shackles. And when I finally find him, I will make the master sing a very different kind of song. Hmm. I like her. Story of revenge. Ooh, Arthur, or not Arthur, what's that guy's name? Arthur, isn't it the Aquaman? Looks just like a man, okay. So he's a crusader. Go over there, bud. go over there. Go over there, go over there, bud. Go over there, come on. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, you prefer YouTube? I watch. Okay, cool, cool. We, we, I think we're, we're going to be making a decision on that. We, we're not going to probably switch over to Twitch. I, I like YouTube because we have a lot of followers there compared to Twitch. But sometimes we like to break up the. <laughs> Are you going to behave? You good? Oh, my dog's getting kind of close to the thing. All right, <clears throat> but yeah, we're we're definitely. If you guys prefer tw uh, YouTube, we are more than happy. I think a lot of people do, uh, James, more than uh, just you. A lot of people prefer YouTube. In the <clears throat> so, yeah, we get feedback and we're more than willing to. All right, so Crusader, uh, you lost your faith. War has uh, claimed countless innocence. Now you are a lone wolf mercenary. Your mission, kill. Oh, so she want, he wants to kill some. So I'm assuming this is a king's son or something. All right, encourage allies. Oh, that's kind of a nice one. What is this, a lone wolf, a soul wolf? Someone trust you. I like this guy already. I like wolves. I like pets. They can <clears throat> howl and bite enemies. The stats of the summon of the summons will depend on the caster's level and summoning abilities. All right, for duration for ten turns, that's long actually. It just gives you a five percent critical chance and ten percent critical multiplier. That's kind of nice, thrifty. It gives you okay. That's kind of cool too. And then they have these pre dents So let's listen to his origin story. Hey, is this game single player? It is uh, a single player game and it's multiplayer. Once I was a crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring. Annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer. One of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target is none other than Lucian's own son. I'm assuming Lucian's like the king, right? So yes, it is single player, which I'm going to be playing now, and multiplayer. All right. Oh, a dwarf. Love dwarves. Origin beast. Uh, fabled or fail. Oh, I thought fabled. No, it's failed. Rebellion against the queen nearly destroyed you. So you began a new life on the high seas. Now your old enemy's back. If you don't stop her, no one will. Okay, so he says, Pectifying touch, turning your back to stone. Okay, I like that. Uh, drawers tend to have a lot of earthian type moves in, in a lot of RPGs. The, or earth type, yeah, yeah. So it's good that this follows a lot of the old school RPGs that deal 12 to. 13 earth damage removes bleeding. Yeah, this is very dwarf like. I like it. I like it. Bleeding, poison, and cripple. Da, da, da. Resist by magic armor. Okay, range has to be close. He's a melee character. Uh, blind, uh, this is a blinding. Okay, so storm approaches and strong. Blind is 
Oh, air damage. Interesting. You see a lot of more earthly type magics. Blank could deal 14 to 16 air damage to enemies. Okay, area effect. Nice. Resist by magic. Say so maximum velocity and dodge. Okay, I like this. Dwarfian Gale. Let's... Guile, what is this here? It gives you... Ooh, okay, sneaking roguelike. I noticed, guys, that all these characters have the same thing. So we'll mess around with this. Let's look at his origin story. Sort of RPG game this. I've never seen the gameplay. Oh, you'll see gameplay in a minute. It, it is a tactical RPG. I was just thinking about someone I used to know. My cousin. The queen, in fact. A tyrant. I tried to stop her, but things don't always go according to plan. She cast me out to a forgotten island and made short work of my allies, too. Lucky for me, I was able to commandeer a ship and began a new life for myself out on the high seas. Aye, but I hear that the Queen is at it again, and there's something darker behind our madcap schemes this time. If I don't stop her, I don't know who will. I like this character. It is like an overhead uh, perspective, like similar to old school Zelda, and it's a turn-based RPG. It's tactical, so it's more of a... I guess Final Fantasy Tactics, if you were to compare one. It's not like Tactics, but a similar kind of uh, game where it allows you to... Uh, Turn based plan out, and it's just it's more D and D based, so it's more old school RPGs. All right, oh look at her; she looks very cool. Matter of fact, Pie Dog could explain that he's been playing this for a while, and um, I found out I was like, oh cool, Pie Dog, I'll start this next play. This is on my list to play anyway. So, oh okay, cool, cool. So here, let's see, so you're a, a musician, musician, performer, star, and a host of all. Matter, uh, oh, okay, disbodied visitors. Now a dark voice has silenced them all and aims to claim your body for itself. Encourage, okay, I like encourage. Maddening song, the song calls all enemies their target to go mad. Maddening characters will attack those nearby them. Oh, I love that. I love that a lot. Okay, she's similar. So let's see her origin story. All my life I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. <laughs> Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. <laughs> Step one. Find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two. Make it sorry it ever tried. I like this character. She's cool, guys. She's real cool. Hey, Cranberry. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cranberry. Oh, look at this, guys. Undead. Tactical RP. I got to admit, I'm not the best at tactical RPGs. I've played so only a handful of them. But uh, they're usually really cool. And what I like about them is that you can take your time to to uh, plan everything out. But yeah, they're they're definitely challenging. They're not they're not everyone's uh, cup of tea, but they're it's still good. Okay, you woke up and your world was gone. You lot the last of your kind. You hide behind a charmed mask, searching for the truth about the history that no one knew existed. So he is played dead. Uh, full enemies thinking. Okay, that's like Fink Death. I like that a lot. Uh, skills are paused. Uh, com cooldowns of skills are paused. Any action you take or cancel the status. Pl uh, set pl uh, playing death for three turns. Do not break. Does not break invisibility or sneaking. Okay. What is this? Time warp. Target a character. Whenever this character ends a turn in combat, they immediately get 
a free turn. Oh, okay. Receive an extra turn of combat for one turn. Okay, that's a nice. Four range kind of, kind of. Okay, so let's look at his origins. Is she now, huh? Oh, no, this guy. He looks awesome. Oh, don't stare. How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? Your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Yet when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world I knew all but obliterated. I must even hide my true face beneath an ever-shifting mask for fear you savages will attack me. That is how I wander this strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. I love him. He's probably... They're all cool and I love the voice acting. Guys, the voice acting's pretty top notch. Ooh, another dwarf. Uh, between... Haves and ha haves and haves not alike. Dwarves are fiercely uh, nationalistic. Even the poorest dwarf would die for their dwindling kingdom, but not all would die for the queen. Ah, I see they have an issue with their queen. Oh, this has the same. Oh no! This dome of protection, the magical field that restores magic and physical armor, increases elemental resistance for allies in an area. Nice. Okay. Oh, he has no origin story. That's kind of weird. Oh, he has none either. That's kind of weird. I wonder why. Oh, they're custom characters. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to play them. Let's play the good ones. Lizard. Undead Dwarf! Oh, look at that! Undead Elf? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like it, I like it. Let's go back. Okay, the Red Prince. I like him, but we're probably not going to play him. I like her a lot, too. Story of Revenge. Really cool. He's pretty cool, too, because it looks like he's an honor-based guy that has lost his faith. I love Dwarves and RPGs a lot. Uh, she's really interesting. I really like her. Uh, he's probably... Oh, man, he's just so cool. Alright, guys. It's going to be hard to s choose here. I'm probably going to go... I like this idea. I want to know what's inside her head. He's pretty cool, too. Okay, so... It's going to be between her or the undead guy. I really like his story too, right? He's undead. He wants to find out a history. wants to know what's going on. But she seems like really cool. That, whoa, something's possessing her. But then I like the elf too. All right, we're going to choose one. I'm assuming, though, I could play multiple ones and, and get their story. At least I hope. All right, so pre we're Oh, Ranger. Ooh, she might be cool as a Ranger, though. Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right, what about Elemental Arrows? Let's see, targets with the main ranges. Uh, added Ranger. Okay, cool. So, oh, that's pretty good. Fire... A normal arrow that deals 44 to 55 physical damage finds another target within 5 meters. Forks up to 2 times. Based on your basic attack, or receives damage for finesse. So finesse is important. I hope I find out what I need to do for these. Peace of mind. Uh, targets gains clear mind, which increases strength, finesse, intelligence by 1, and wit by 1. Removes blind, terrified, charmed, taunted, uh, sleeping, enraged, and... Oh, enraged is bad, I guess, and mad. 
Okay, cool. Let's see what else we have. Rogue. Ooh, she'd be kind of cool as a rogue. You can gain two action points means, but lose two action points next turn. Okay, so that's important. Gain two action points melee, but does not break invisibly or, st or uh, backlash. Oh. Uh, jump over an enemy, uh, landing behind e their back and backstabbing them. That's pretty good. Backstab's always cool. Uh, 100% drag damage based on your basic attack and proceed finesse. So finesse is important. Throwing a knife to your point, dealing fortified damage. Can, can backstab. Can backstab. Dealing based on. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. That's going to be interesting. All right. So, what is this? Improved uh, uh, backslash. Okay, we already read that. Charmeleon, uh, Charmeleon, Chameleon cloak. It gives you power to bend environments. Okay. Chicken claw. Ch okay. Tournament character into a chicken. Very cool. Just my physical armor. So I have to remember a lot of this. I'm pretty sure. So. Pie dog, I'm thinking going ranged with her. What do you think? Kind of like the idea of ranged. But, ooh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't see witch. Oh, I like witch. Hold on, look at this. All right. Raise bloated corpse. I like. Blows up your tar. Blows up your target. F target uh, a corpse and raise the bloated character to fight for you. It can explode. Dealing. I like. This is necro, right? Mosquito swarm. Unleash a swarm of giant mosquitoes to suck the blood from your enemies, dealing fortune damage and healing yourself. I like. Uh. And it kind of fits her dark theme she has going, right, guys? Restore uh, damage. I like witch so far. Oh, wizard is kind of cool. Knights. Oh, burning truth damage increases your by intelligence. Okay, intelligence. Oh, what is it? Searing. Daggers. Shoot three flaming daggers at a target of your choice. Each creating a fire surface and dealing five to six. I love dots too, guys. I love that. Man, this is going to be so difficult for me to choose, guys. This is my cup of tea, guys, when it comes to RP. I love these type of RPGs, these lore, the more uh, medieval type dark. Not dark, but you know what? I think you guys know what I mean based on your level of intelligence. Okay. Oh, I like this. A giant rock filled with sticky oil that deals three, 11 to 13 de uh, earth damage. Creates an oil surface where it lands. Damage level. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, no, no. Good night, Cranby. I, pr I, I appreciate you coming by, and I really love the raid. I really do appreciate it. Battle Mage. Go oh, look at this. So cool. Um, Rush. A battering ram rush and forward to straight line to a designated point hitting all in it like that oh that's pretty powerful guys and knockback knockback for one turn damage but by your strength so she's more of a melee kind of uh blinding with radiance okay uh enemies around you receive 11 to 13 air damage you receive a status that turns enemies in five minutes okay so blinding all right cool shocking touch sets this Sets the shock status on a target within arm's length that deals 15 to 16 air damage for two turns. Okay. Magic. Physical. Ooh, interesting. Right. Cleric. Healer. Uh, kind of a dark cleric. Restore vitality of a tar, which is basically your health, which you guys are familiar with. Uh, rest restoration. Oh, also restores, uh, also cures poisoned and bleeding for seven turns. Oh, it's like a hairy effect, huh? Bloodsucker. Tar I like that. Consumes blood surfaces around them. Rest oh, so this is good synergy, I, I think, with different characters possibly to uh, heal. Restoring vitality more blood, the more they'll be healed, okay? 
Decaying Touch. Deal 12 to 14 physical damage to a target. A target character sets decay. The target will take physical damage from healing spells and potions. Oh, interesting. So that's actually kind of nice. So it, it uh, punishes you if you uh, you uh, heal. Conjurer. Ooh, I like conjurers too. Conjurer, personal elemental that matches the ground surface it's summoned into. Oh, that's kind of nice. A colossal champion will answer your summons. Okay, once you summon your blood reaches level 10. Okay, so I'm assuming a colossal incarnate uh, uh, champion is really, really good. Dimensional bolt. Elemental totem. Oh, nice. Okay, much kind of shaman like. All right, guys, this this type of game I'm gonna play multiple times. I could tell. I'm just going to love trying different builds. Each run could be a potentially different one. Ah, oh, now you said... Oh, that was famous, right? Got Pie Dog, that was a streamer best moment there. Didn't pay attention to the miss and wiped me all out and I was doing really good. Alright. Enchanter. Create a spreading water surface in which douses fires. Okay, that's kind of nice. Sets wet status on a character in the area. Wet for one turn. All right. Oh, so hail strike. Okay, so this is uh, from the sky. Ch ch chilling characters and dealing eight, uh, seven to eight water damage. Create a ice surfaces where it hits the ground. Okay, chill for two turns. is based on your resist by magic armor. Electric discard, discharge. Electric bolts that deals 13 to 14 air damage to a character and sits down. All right. All right. Fighter. Ooh, fighter. Set your weapon to the ground, knocking non allied characters in front of you, hitting them for. Ooh, that's pretty powerful. Uh, also clears non cursed surfaces and. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Then it's based on your strength. Oil ability and rain are very useful for other things. Ooh, this is going to be very tough for me to decide, Pie Dog. Uh, bouncing shield. Throw a shield attack dealing with damage. Shield can be bounced for enemy five range. Okay, perfect. Uh, fortify. Provide eight physical armor. That's nice. While fortify, the character be teleported. Removes poison, bleeding, burning, acid, and decay. I'm assuming acid like for the king. Nice. Inquisitor. Ooh, nice. Rush Bannering is kind of a duplicate from one before. Bloodsucker. Oh, okay. Or maybe we've... Oh, no. we already gone through it. All right, guys. So, Inquisitor looks really cool. Um, Knight, I kind of like as well. Who I really like. This is the preset one. Ranger's kind of nice. Rogue? I don't know. I... Rogue's really cool, though. Blade? Shadow Blade. Which I'm gonna go. I think I'm going witch. Wizard would be kind of cool too. All right. I like battle mage though. This is tough. This is tough. We have to choose something though, guys. You can you can uh, heat the water on the ground and creating a steam. Ooh, cloud they're hitting with lightning and create lightning. So there's a lot of deep gameplay elements to this. Okay, what do you think about guys? What do you think about Inquisitor? Knight. But I really think I want to go with Witch. Well, maybe, I don't know. I like the idea of the darkness that it associated with her character. And Mosquito Swarm, uh, Bloated Corpse is so awesome. You can also change some skills in the menu. Okay, so 
Steam. What do you think, Pydox? I think it could be witch or wizard, I think. I kind of like the idea of wizard or battle mage. It's either going to be one of those three. I should really flip a coin, right? Her, these attacks aren't that powerful, though, compared to the other ones. It's like the magic users don't seem as powerful as... I mean, look at this. This is pretty powerful stuff. Well, it's not that much better, but... Inquisitor here. Yeah, I'm probably going to go Inquisitor. I like this strut line that could sue blood surfaces and vitality. You have some healing. It also has mosquito. But it does do. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to decide. Ooh, this kind of looks nice. All right, we have to decide, other guys. I'm sorry. This, like I said, episode one is gonna be very boring for you guys because it's not gonna be much. I like witch. I really do like witch. I kind of think I'm gonna go with that or inquisitor. Battle Major, Inquisitor, or Witch? Oh, man. Such tough decision. Oh, let's just go Inquisitor. I mean, Witch, guys. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So let's just go Inquisitor real quick. We'll do our origin real quick story again, I guess, to make sure we start the like run, and then we'll start the game. Yes. Yeah. life I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I love that. I've got this under control. Step one, find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two, make it sorry it ever tried. Yeah, she's cool. All right, let's start game. What is this here? Here, here, no, no. Oh, this is a beautiful intro. It all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of sauce. I'd planned. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill God Woken, but instead I became part of their story. Very cool intro. So, 
still a bit groggy, are we? Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. hoping my upstairs visitor was just playing tricks on me. Alright, so... Oh, I have to... Alright, basic movies. Welcome to... Uh, and let me know if you guys want the face cam off. I could take it off if you want to see more graphics. Uh, my face cam doesn't really cover too much, but... I'll try to turn it off for all cutscenes. Welcome to Divinity Original Sense 2. Click anywhere on the ground or hold left mouse button continuously to begin exploring. Okay. So just like, kind of like a Diablo. Ooh. Nice. I like it. Okay, so let's look over here. We have Mosquito Swarms number one. Uh, this is going to have to redo my key bindings for this. I'm going to have to click for this episode, guys, because I have some key bindings for OBS. So I have to change that off stream because otherwise the stream will continuously go off and on. So we don't want that. So for this episode, we are going to be a clicker until I get that resolved. Basic camera control. Hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera. Zoom in or out by using the mouse squirrel. Okay. I don't have a middle mouse button. Oh yeah, I do. All right. So. Okay, camera stop following the camera stop following your primary. You can look around freely. Oh. All right, so let's explore. Ooh. So we have escape. Oh, here's the load of the modifications. Try go there. Okay, here, here we go. Oh, we could turn them on. Okay, increases maximum. Hey, you recommend this, by the way? Okay, so increase maximum. Max actually, that's kind of nice. Maybe I should turn these all on, huh? We'll mess with that later. Okay, formation. We don't have any of that. All right, so let's go to resume. All right, so there was nothing in there. Let's look in here. Yeah, no thanks. One sparkly green hate necklace is enough. Yeah, no thanks. One sparkly green hate necklace is enough. Oh, we'll think about it, guys. All right, so we need to explore... Ooh. Hey, 15 gold. Press I in your... Okay. This is your inventory. Everything you pick up is stored here. Press the right mouse button on an object in your inventory and find out what you can do with them. Is there a dead alive return to fatality? Okay, he yields for 30. Backpack, strangely bottomless. Open, ooh, really? Uh, Lord, okay. All right, cool. All right, and here's my strength. She's pretty weak so far, but she's a witch. So we're gonna definitely, let's take a look. The attributes shape what characters can do and how well they do it, all right. Oh, we don't have anything right now. Silver. 
civil ability. So like bartering, that's kind of nice. Personality. So I'm assuming this is kind of sub stuff usually very D and D like. Challenge challenge your character's unique qual uh, qualities and slightly change the rules for that particular character. Okay, talents are good. As you can see, we are really deep. This is good stuff. All right, so let's. Oh, and in here we have equipment. Oh, nice. Nice. Auto sort. Perfect, perfect. Now, there's a lot of stuff here, though, guys. Let's look around. No. Can I turn the... Oh, it's locked. We can't go in there. Ooh, can't reach. So let's go over here. Nice. Ah, uh -huh, that's so cool. Hey, a sheep. Ah, oh, okay. That gives health. Interesting. Did you expect a needle? I love the voice acting in this game, guys, so far. It's really good. Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. You can't understand what the animal's trying to say. If you had a pet pal talent you can you could have a meaningful conversation okay we're gonna like i said we're gonna have to click uh oh man that means my my stream actually did go off and on i hope it didn't mess it up all right so we're gonna change the key bindings later Nice, we need the gold. All right, search for a key. Let's keep looking. I'm wondering, am I missing a key here? Oh, very cool, actually. Oh, okay. let's go back. Well, we can't. All right, so let's look for the key, guys. It has to be somewhere there. Maybe it's up here. I'm wondering if I could build stuff up to... So you could turn the camera. Let's do that real quick. Oh, wow. Okay, so camera backwards is S? Well, this kind of sucks. Center is home. This is horrible. All right, so let's do... 
Center, I would say... Interesting. Why can't I just use a thing to... Oh, yeah, this default thing is not that... What? Delete, end, okay. Yeah, this kind of sucks. We're definitely gonna... I'm gonna have to figure out what I want, but let's do... There we go. For now, guys, let's, uh... Yeah, this camera stuff, we have to change. We, I definitely don't like it. Ooh, hold on. I didn't see that. Ah, uh, there we go. So... Yeah, I definitely got to mess around with this default camera stuff is no good. Alright, so what are we doing in here? Ooh, that's always good. Cool. Arrow shaft. Well, we're not going to use that, but... Yeah, pie dog. Uh, ooh. Oh, am I? Huh? How can I be in? I don't have that much. Oh, damn. She could barely carry anything. Yeah, this is definitely old school RPGs. Has this. Okay, so what are we going to drop? Ooh, it's... Oh, we don't, we don't want that. Well, that's why. Okay, cool. So let's look around. <laughs> yeah, we're going to change that. I'm going to have to think about what I want off stream there because this is no good. Ooh, I got a weapon. All right. Where is my weapon? Oh, here it is. Nice, I do some damage now. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to do... Oh, I know. Hold on. We just move it. So we're already getting... Yeah, this camera shit has to change, you guys. I'm going to change it to something much better. I know I'm missing stuff, too. Should really go back before we go here. Let's go back. Yeah, we're going to change this shit. It's way too...
I know, right? First puzzle. Oh, so we need to go here. So. Yeah, we're gonna dust this camera shit, guys. This is way too. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do off strand. I don't wanna waste time here. But. This camera sucks by default. We definitely gotta work on it. I don't know why we can't just control it with the mouse. Really? I have to find another key? Thought I had a key. All right, so let's look. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta change this camera shit, man. These I wanna mimic it on my mouse where I can move it like an MMO. Matter of fact, let's see if we can do that, because this thing does needs to be changed. Alright, camera, where can we change this? This is going to be interesting. I don't have to figure out. I can't do it. Oh, rotate. Toggle, camera, rotate. Middle mouse button. I don't have a middle mouse button. Or do I? Hold on. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. A little bit better. All right, so we went in here. We need to find. Ooh, I think we uh, we have to maybe kill this guy to get. Okay, let's go. Ooh. All right, guys, we're gonna have our first battle. Looks like. So I could unite stuff. Ah, interesting. Ooh. Ooh, a puddle of water, huh? Ooh, we don't want to. All right, so let's do this real quick. Whoop, I don't want to go that far. All right, so let's see. Ooh. Okay, here, let's talk to him first before we do anything. Ooh, oil? the lever, you hear a sniff and snort behind you as the snoring magister mumbles himself awake. One bloodshot eye opens, and then another. Ah. Mm. It's my shift over. Are you here to relieve me? Why, you're no magister. You're a sorcerer. What are you doing here, filthy scrounger? Choose your words carefully. My fists ache to meet a new face. Sometimes you have to persuade the person you're talking to answer your uh, your answers, your stats, and your persuasion ability 
will decide how successful you will be. Okay. All right. Ignore the guard and make a move towards the nearby lever. Tell the truth. So you're snooping around. <laughs> And how is he, what he's going to do about it. With which we pray, salute him and say that you're superior and you report to, report to the upper mm, Okay. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Tell him that you've heard someone uh, yelling coming from above. He needs to get up there. Finesse. Uh, t laugh and tell him that one of the guards of the upper deck fell overboard. He should go check it out. Tell the guard you're itching for a fight. Ooh, okay, so what... Ooh, this is interesting. I don't know if she's good with wits. Don't think it's that finesse. I don't think. I think wits. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Oh, it's successful. Achievement unlocked. Oh, nice. Oh, and it's about time, too. The lads and lasses up there are getting lazy. Figures they'd send one of you sorcerers down. They can barely be chuffed to wiggle a single toe. Can't just leave the prisoner alone, though. I heard he might be the one causing trouble upstairs. He wouldn't dare cross you. I love these choices, guys. Intelligent persuasion remark the sturdiness of the cell bars. The prisoner's not going to go anywhere. Memory persuasion. Mm, spark willfully about your days as, as a prison warden. The guard can go ahead. You got this. Of failure. Ooh. If it's all the same, I think it's best he comes with me. Some offense intended. You hear that, Emma? We're taking a walk. I like, I like. See, so now I'm going to fight him. If I would have actually could have been. Hmm. Hurry up, sorcerer. We haven't got all day. Oh, nice. A dead magister. So much will have to take the blame for this. And it won't be me. This camera, though, I'm gonna have to figure this out, guys, because this camera is horrendous. Okay, this is your hop. I click on the skill active to determine the action by clicking it all right. Oh, nice, okay. That's so, oh, it's gonna take a while to get used to this, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, so, ooh, it's gonna be some, yeah, I'm gonna have to play this off stream, but most important thing, I gotta get this camera done, because this camera is no good. All right, so let's look at the body. Oh, there we go. Now we could probably get... Why would I want to pick that up? Oh.
All right, so. I'll need to get clever with this lock. Oh, so we don't have. But we're going to go back up here, guys, because. Where do we need to go that is locked? Ooh, interesting, interesting. Where is the heck is that room that was locked? I thought it was over here, right? Ah, okay, I guess it's open now. Oh. Or is it this? Ah, there it is. So we unlock it here and go into this area. But we were already here, though. I think that's it. I don't think I need to go back. Oh, wait a minute. We No, we haven't been in this room here. Actually... If it's a bedroll, you might want to pick it up. Uh, let's see. Lie. This is where we... Beds, use beds of wonder. Okay, cool. Yeah, we gotta mess with this camera. This camera. Interesting. Okay, okay. So we have anything else we could click on here? No, no, no. Oh, okay, cool. I'll go back then. Now, now let's see here. We went Yeah, I gotta adjust this camera shit. Can I attack? Oh, it, I guess I have to have... Alright. Not sure on how her gameplay works, though. Let's go here. Damn. Now how do we get past that without dying though? Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's temporary. No key? No problem. Alright, so... Ah, I definitely want to pick that up. Never know when you need a deck of cards. And what? I'm back where I started. Nowhere to go but up. All right. So let's go back here and see if we can get something here. Mm -hmm. 
You're talking about that, uh, Pi Dog? All right, so let's go back. One thing I don't like is this cam default camera thing. It sucks, but we will adjust that off stream. But I can't get in there though, right? Oh, never mind. Don't want that. Yeah, there doesn't seem anything in here, Pie Dog. All right, so let's go over here. Don't see anything of use. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. So we are going to uh, Pie Dog. I don't think there's anything else I need in here, right? I think it's just a tutorial to teach you how to play. Ooh, candles, books. Did I go in there? I think I did. All right, let's go, guys. We have to go way over yonder. Three journal updated. Scaves game say okay, so information in your you discovered two new chronicles, okay. doing with weight. Oh, I'm doing okay. I don't know if I'm going to ever need this, though. Oh, let's look. Is 
Used to Rick, I don't know how you read it, Trump. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, okay, very simple. So it looks like unlocked arrowhead. Okay, press H to view. All right, crafting panel. This this crafting in this game was really cool. There is a crafting. This is the crafting select. So like you drag items into it. The crafting slot and combine items. Valid combinations will be added to your recipe book. Ooh, piece of metal and cloth. Oh, nice. So I can upgrade. It'll be better than what I have now. Oh, nice. So we got a lot of stuff to. We got some of that. We need that. Oh, okay, cool, cool. a bit more chipper. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. All right, tags determine what options are available with you in dialogue and how the world reacts to your party members, custom mm -hmm. car characters, and race. Your custom characters have race, gender, and background tags. Origin characters have unique origin tags. Okay, I mentioned that there's a little accent in the cargo. The passengers Jed lean in and whisper to the master, but bestowing suffering <laughs> a fatal enchant in a counter. You pull at the at the thing around your neck freely demanding demand to know how, why she is collared you jester last thing you remember is being hustling you're, you're hustling your 15th pint is this a ram's head <laughs> mystic okay so i'm wondering you had a long black sheep dream that you had a long black dream about the ship sailing the river Sailing the river of the dead, but you're not dead, are you? Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Oh, that's why I can't cast, huh? See, this is interesting. I love choices. So, I'm assuming it is some kind of thing to lock down my magic. She might be put to don't do it. Oh, do go on. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> Promise. My, aren't we a meek little lamb? Perhaps I needn't have called you at all. Though it does look darling on you. So let's just leave it on, shall we? Because to answer your question, what this collar does is this. It makes you unable to cast Source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Hmm. 
Interesting. I want to say a little ironic over this, but let's do this. No. You're alive and you're having a conversation. You are on a ship, of course, but luckily for us both, we're merely sailing the plain old sea. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. I love the narrator thing of this game. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good girl, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source for good. So they do not like magic, it appears. Who left the weights? Hmm. I wonder. If I choose that, will she fight? She frowns and peers at you closely, resting the back of one hand on your forehead and taking your pulse with the other. Hmm. Delusions such as these are rare, but not unheard of. I recommend a cup of mulled wine and another night's sleep. Just take it easy. Is he? Oh, well. Some problems simply sort themselves, don't they? <laughs> All right. Open your map. Important characters will be marked on destinations on your map. Quest givers. Oh, quest markers. So we need to go see this Williams guy. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna need to find someone who could do that, huh? Yes, this is a rare kind of magic. No way. I'll need to write to headquarters right away. Can I attack her? Off to the herd, little sheep. Away you go. Yeah, I'm going to sort out the camera off stream, guys. I apologize. I, like I said, this is a blind first playthrough. So everything's default, but this default camera is no good. We'll adjust that later, but let's just continue playing. We'll do this a little bit, and then we'll end the stream. And we will have this play it until it ends. It's going to be really interesting because I'm going to suck at it, I'm sure. But it will be a lot of fun nonetheless. I hope I didn't miss anything. Maybe I should take that, but I don't think a candle hoarder would do anything good for me. I don't think I need it. Good gods! Murder here. What? I wonder, can I? Nah. Oh, so I have to find a target for that. Hmm. Interesting. I'm assuming I can't do any of this now, guys, so let's go ahead and stop messing around.
Oh, nice. Okay. We don't want to go up there yet. We're going to go over here. I don't know if Necro's going to be good, guys, but we could replay, though. I'm going to probably try a couple off stream. There's my f Oh, I can actually attack. Hey! I know who you are! You're a singer! My mum likes you! I know you! I heard you sing once! Before! Out there! Wow! Wow! You look cool! I like your hair! I like your eyes. I like your color. I have one too. Take my color, please. All right. We just skipped to the part where I reassure you and you shut up. You think me mad? Mad? Insufferable, surely. What are you trying to hear anyway? An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Rolling dice. Deciding fates. Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. She looks you up and down, with the merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. She eyes you quite seriously. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it, too. Interesting. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue, efficient like a cat grooming. Hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. A dark, dank place. I remember it well. As everyone lay sleeping, you sat in the dark with wakeful eyes, looking rather lovingly at... Me! That's funny. <laughs> My, aren't you a pretty cup full of sugar and spice? Of course it is. The truth's right there, skin deep. But don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. Interesting. Oh, am I supposed to be kind of like liking her, huh? I don't lick and tell. Oh, yeah, I love that. I don't like it tell. All right, cool. See? And let's go here. I don't think anything's in here. Unacceptable. I've never died on anything less than a dozen courses in, and I don't intend to do away with the customer. Oh, bedroll. We definitely want that. I wonder if I need more than one. You get saucy with me when you clearly don't know the first thing about sauce. All right, so we have to go over here. A broad dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, ghetto. You hear that? He turns his head toward you, looking you up and down, and smiles before turning his attention to the ship once more. You look like a ghetto to me. <laughs> 
listen if you're interested. Or get gone if you aren't. The ship, of course. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. And? Sick as a leper's cat. From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. But there's more. Listen close. And once I get the key bindings right, I'm going to start using the keyboard. But until that, otherwise the streams get messed up, guys. You post your eyes on 100 sounds for each free. Tell them they exactly what you're listening for. Tell them, all right. There now, just like that. Squeak. Aha! His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There! You heard that, didn't you? I knew it! I knew it! Aye, this is good news, ghetto. Good news. It's the wheel, the wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? <laughs> Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we are heading east. For my beard. That means if we'd been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. <laughs> I like that. As you just asked for a second, you haven't heard anything about the place. So you have eyes as well as ears, eh? You'll go far, mate. Even here. Yeah, no indeed, girl. But that ain't my final destination. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, girl. Your kind always hung closest to he continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. Very cool, guys. You one of them? A divine order loyal. They killed a sorcerer, you know. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but make no mistake. All right. Well, well, what have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. My, we are fierce, aren't we? Not to worry. I'll soon remedy that. <laughs> now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? <laughs> oh, goodness, no. And don't even mention the demon's testes that are turnips. <laughs> On to the second question. Can you knit, weave, in short, uh, tailor? Ooh, interesting. Oh, but to feel the caress of satin on my scarlet skin once more. A most satisfactory answer indeed. On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. Oh, 
So I'm most certainly a personal pride. You have no strange to combs, powdered perfumes. Rubbing your chin, let him try to recall the last time you bathed. What month is this? A lot of the humor is awesome. Dear Lord, I might as well try and teach mathematics to a dog chasing its tail. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? As per your own testimony, you can tailor, but you have the taste buds of a dung beetle, and your personal hygiene reminds one of a carcass rotting in the sun. That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. Ah, that's so cool. You should probably come to terms with the fact that you've half a mind full stop. You'll never attain the rank of slave with manners such as that. I love this character, the Red Prince. Own your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? Very cool. I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Meanwhile, the Magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. The indignity. Insufferable, surely. All right, guys, let's go up here. Never thought you'd end up a prison guard, Vic. That right. I always knew you'd turn up. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sob story somewhere else. A scruffy man lounges against the wall with scarred arms folded. A sly smile playing on his face, he stares across at the Magister guarding him. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board, and I'd bet three months' pay it's this tramp Ifan. <laughs> Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now, you. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword and now he's Johnny Big Pants. <laughs> Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. I like you, I like you so far, guys. I know it's very probably slow episode for everyone. We'll be getting a lot more battles probably in episode two and three, but it's really story driven. I love story driven games. No. The dead man, Finn, is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame, sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. The Joy. I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Wonder if we'll get to meet the Ringmaster himself. What am I thinking of this blue, bloody divine order? Easy now. I might think the same. But Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. What are you conspiring about over there? You! What's your name? Ah, oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Name! Oh, 
Ah, I like this. I like the choices, guys. This is very, very cool. Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Away with you, at once. Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips, as he leans back against the wall. Very cool. Okay, let's go in here. Never thought you'd end up a prison guard, Vic. That right. I always knew you'd turn out from to Ben Mest. Your kind always hung closest to our divine, like wolves around a campfire. Well, you've got this one. As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, we'll have you drive over the side of the ship with him. Name? The Divine Order wants to know. I don't like comedy. Not so fast. Name? Well, you aren't here on my list. Scram, eh? We're trying to catch a killer here. There has been a murder. Maybe that has the Magister's more concern than your appetite. The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. He reaches out and takes your hand, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he pinches your skin, Gently tugging at it. Fascinating. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. I like her humor. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world's history? Most unusual, and if it's not too rude to suggest, not much of an answer. No, I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Hmm. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? Of course you don't have any useful information. Why did I expect anything else? <laughs> now please, run along. I have a world to decipher. No amount of pestering will get the elf to take his eyes off his book or respond to your questions. Ah, so we didn't get any info out for him. Here's the register, ma'am. Good, good. Magister Williams has just about done with the last passenger. You fearing okay so far? He tugs the collar of his uniform and chuckles. I'm sorry you're upset, ma'am, but we all wear what we wear for a reason. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. All right. Ask 
what you must. I'm nothing. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it, then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Oh, she's from the beginning of the intro. She turns they her all are. and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good God, the woman's mad. <laughs> you there, sorcerer, go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. I'm just about to create a scene. Interesting. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Oh shit. So that was so now I wonder if I missed anything. Probably. Oh no, I don't die, okay. I mean don't die. What's happened? Two journals and four hundred experience. Hold Alt left to highlight the objects and pick and pick them up. Okay. Ooh, nice! Actually, this really helps for... I wish I would have told you that before. Interesting. I'm not going to steal then. Uh, I'm assuming some of this stuff is good, man. We're probably going to need it. See, it gives a lot of stats. Ooh. Well, I don't know. Prestige to feel. Interesting. All right, so can we equip anything better? Well, that's better than what I have. Oh, she could dual wheel? How awesome is that?
Can I unlock this? No. Alright, alright. Oh, everyone's all messed up. Well, let's go see them. Lizard's eyes close as he slips into unconsciousness. The dwarf lies in a heap on the floor, his great beard twisted and tangled around him. He is stock still. You can't see if he's living or dead. You hear a faint thud, thud, thud. He's alive, but only just. Oh, very cool. Okay. So we're going to go up there. No, not the final dark. Not yet. It's no use. Your words do not seem to reach her. The dice roll darkly. They're rolling for me. All right. Oh, she's dead? Oh, that was the other lizard character. She died. Well, let's go talk to him and then we're going to get out of here, guys. Ifan lies motionless, curled on the ground like an animal. Under his shaggy hair, you can see green eyes fluttering as if in a nightmare. A low whine escapes his lips. His eyes flicker open. But he doesn't register your presence at all. Lucian. Lucian. Ivan cries out. Then his eyes fall closed again. No matter how much you shake him now, he cannot be roused. All right, let's get the loot. Very storage. I love the fact that the. Uh, I have choices. Ooh. I think. Oh. Gosh, they're dead too, huh? Here, let's loot their body. Oh, there's that. Uh, let's loot their bodies because he could have some useful stuff. We're poor. We don't have any armor. Oh, I know that's um we could use that for elf, huh? Oh there she is. I thought she was dead. I love the sound effects in this game too. The Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a dire looking wound. Alright, so we have nothing there. Okay, let's go guys. We can go this way or we're gonna go up the other way. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting that awares or not, but we will continue doing that for now. Alright, let's do this. I can't get in here, though. Unless I'm missing someone's key. Which I might be.
there any keys here? Ooh, what's that? I really want to get in here. I'm wondering if there's anything good. Uh, maybe I can't. Oh, there's a book, guys. I, how do I get in here? Oh, it's unlocked. It's unlocked. Maybe we could get... Let's go up here. Oh, interesting. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. Okay, so we are going to go and explore, but I need to call in the stream here. Unfortunately, episode two will be most likely tomorrow. I'm going to adjust some stuff off screen to get the camera controls a little bit better. The defaults suck. Uh, some key bindings I have to redo as well. And where's my character, though? All right, she's over here. Let's go over here first before we go. I want to go over there too, but let's do this before. Oh man, we're gonna have so much fun with this. Oh, damn it! We need to get off this wreck and quick. I hope I can find someone who gets rid of my collar. Looks like. Is this better than what we have? It is. Let's equip it. Alright. Perfect. There's the key. All right, guys. Um, let's just talk to this guy, and then we're gonna end the stream because I need to get going. Unfortunately, you pass through the door and are suddenly face to face with an undead. His skull is bizarrely angular, and a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead. The skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia, muttering to himself. No, no, no! What damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree? It catches fire, it turns into must when wet, it cannot even resist acid! No wonder they're so bloody ignorant. I love this character already. The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. Oh, it's you. Shouldn't you be running and screaming or some such? The skeleton groans and looks back to his book, frantically flipping from page to page. Yes, indeed. It's the look of someone that wants to read the bloody book he's holding. Now, if you're really quite finished, I believe you have lifeboats to flee to.
please. I was no more an elf than you are those rags you're wearing. I had a mask, rather ingeniously designed, which allowed me to take that primitive form. A mask that was stolen by that damned witch after her little scene. Still, she'll drown with the rest of these fools, and I will simply pluck my mask from her cold, dead hands. Remember, one of your race's weaknesses is having your lungs filled with water until you can no longer breathe. So, try to avoid that. <laughs> the skeleton resumes his search, leafing through page after page, while hunching over the book in a futile attempt to keep it dry. All right. Please, my time is short. Although yours, I gather, is infinitely shorter. Very cool, guys. We're going to end the episode here, and we're going to do episode two tomorrow. I'm going to adjust, like I said, some stuff off. Let's go. I have to go to the top deck. So we have to go to the top deck, but we're going to go down next episode and see. Ooh. You know what? Before we do that, let's go over here. We're going to see uh, about getting that room and see if there's anything cool in there, and then hopefully we get our collar off, too. The marking on the door was painted recently judging from its pungent scent. You don't recognize the symbol, but it's clearly warning you away. You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. It doesn't budge. The door groans open but an ashen shadow clouds your mind. Interesting. Oh, shoot. Can I get to this guy without dying? The greed, guys, the greed. Let's loot everything, and I'm going to have to end the stream, guys. It is late, and this is good for the first... I know the first episode was a little boring. I was learning a lot. It's not much... Ooh, I like. Yeah, we're going to have to stop before I never... I like, actually. There we go. Anyways, guys, let's all, let, let's end episode one here. Uh, episode two shall, shall hopefully be better. I'm obviously going to have to learn the game. We have a lot of stuff to do. I like the dialogue. I love the 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 theme of this game so far. I just need to adjust the stupid camera. It's pretty bad by default. But I will also redo key bindings because I have numbers set for my keys for OBS, and this game uses it. So we'll stop clicking, and I'll do like down below. I can't do three, I can't do four, I can't do one, and I can't do two. So I'll have to rechange that. I'm not going to sure how I'm going to. We'll, we'll see what we can do. I'll do all that kind of stuff off stream. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed episode one, and we will probably try YouTube for the next episode too. We'll see how it goes. If you guys prefer YouTube, I'm more than welcome to stream. Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.